All three tribes are merging to one beach tonight on a brand new episode of Survivor. Before we get to that, we have to catch you up on everything that happened last week. So first up, the immunity challenge. This was, I, this was a good one. It was a good one. I really, really enjoyed this. Um, what I loved is that this is one of those ones where I feel like it was kind of anyone's game throughout the whole thing. Because mm -hmm. you started with this kind of, I guess, vertical obstacle course where you had to, yeah. obstacle course, words are hard. I would call it almost something like a jungle gym. Yeah, almost, kind, kind of. of, sort of, yeah. And where you had to kind of like go up to each layer, but each layer of the um, obstacle that you were going up, yeah. you had to grab a bag, yeah, there were right? Three, three key bags with a keys yeah. around them. And you, everybody had to get one bag, for like three, all three bags, right. one from each level. And then they had, after that, they got to this. They had to find the right key mm -hmm. to a lock that had the pole. In one of the bags, that, yes. Yeah. And then unravel yeah. uh, the sandbags. To get like your to sandbags, yes. Which, and that actually looked kind of hard, I'll say. I don't know that I would have been good at that part. The unraveling part? Yeah, no. I no. mean, well, it's just that hook. If well, you could it was, grab it was, with your yeah. hands, it'd be a lot easier. It was kind of meticulous, and it was funny, because there was like one team who did it really quickly, and then the the purple, Yanu, who like mm -hmm. kind of took forever, like he took a really long time to figure it yeah. out. So it was interesting. But then at the end, they launched their sandbags to three different targets, mm -hmm. and it was, okay, first of all, it was what, well, I guess the yellow tribe, they won, of course. They're kind yeah, of, they've really kind of been like the perfect the tribe supreme of sorts. Tribe of yeah, council, uh, but really challenge. it's Hunter. But they've been yeah. supreme the whole season. Um, but for the first time, Yanu wins immunity yes, this season. We get a slow motion Yes. shot of that last one going off. Which they really had me fooled. I was like, oh man, they're going to tribal again. I go. figured with that slow motion that there was no way. I was yeah. like, that'd be a really mean move to do if they missed it at that point. Hey, I don't ever doubt the survivor editor. I mean, so no, like, I maybe. don't either. But it was great to see Yanu actually win yes. and not have to go back to tribal. Yeah, especially with just three of them. Right. And like, But I will say it would have been interesting because Tiff is kind of playing both Kinsey and Q has right. good relations with both. So it would have been interesting to see who she How, signed with. Yeah, because you never know with a... Uh, Tribal. No, you never have any idea. Mm -hmm. um, so then we see three different individuals, all men I think this time, yes. go on the journey. And this was interesting because once <laughs> they got there, I believe Q was the one that kind of headed it up, but he was like, all right, we're all three gonna make the merge, or that's the goal anyway. Mm -hmm. And we're each gonna pick another individual from our tribes to kind of be like our plus yes. one. And the six of us are gonna go to final six and be kind of that big alliance. Mm -hmm. Which was interesting because Hunter and Tim both agreed to it. Yeah. But I'm like, you know that's not real. Yeah. It, I don't see it. Because you also, you have to convince your other three people that you're taking with you. Yeah. Other people, hey, we're going to do this. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure, they might go along if you have a good enough bond. Mm -hmm. But you never know. I did see an interesting thing on Twitter, though, that said in that. So it was like, Q said Tiff, which wasn't shocking. Hunter said Tevin, also not shocking. Mm -hmm. But then Tim said Maria. And yeah. someone was like, I feel like that's a good strategy because really Tim is probably closest with Ben. But saying Maria kind of throws them if they get to the beach altogether. That's true. But uh, he, Tim does say that him and uh, Maria have a parents, a close bond. A parents yeah, uh, that's alliance. True. So we might actually just not know that they're as, as close as they yeah. are. You know, maybe the editors aren't letting us see that much. That's fair. Well, and the dynamics of this Green Tribe are so fascinating anyway. Right, well, because, they call the Vibe Tribe. Yeah, the Vibe Tribe. They're, they've been really fun to watch. And all season, you know, obviously they've not lost immunity. Mm -hmm. So this is their first time going to Tribal Council. And what's crazy is we kind of see this, um, what's happened of earlier in the season of Jim finding the idol yeah. and then kind of rehiding the Beware Advantage. Playing with everybody. Kind of this yep. great, yeah, like scandal she was trying to create on the beach. We kind of see this finally come to a head, like, which is really interesting because mm -hmm. I was wondering, you know, up till this point, if that was going to affect her game or if she's going to be able to play this off right. in the long run. I feel like she started to get sloppy. Because, like, if right. you're going to put this, like, beware advantage, like, and it says dig underneath where this is mm -hmm. found, you and need to put some there. kind of fake idol yeah, there. Yeah, I agree. Or else, obviously, they're going to be like, somebody move this. Well, what's funny, though, is really, I actually think that she had specifically the woman on the tribe fooled. And I think yes, that she yeah, had I them agree. good until... Um, the last few hours before they had to tribal mm -hmm. council, she was definitely being um, a lot more like suspicious. She yeah. was putting a lot on her for no good reason. Like I was mm -hmm. definitely self-imposing. I feel like. Yeah. So then we go to tribal council, um, and it's funny because we're like, is it going to be Jim? Is it going to be Tim? Is it going to be Ben? Because like kind of they all the guys to go except for Charlie were up. Yeah. And I was I, I like Ben, so yeah. I didn't want him to have to go. So it was interesting, but in the end, as you see, Jim is the one that ends up going. But there's a few things to talk about with this. So first of all, she goes home with an idol in her pocket. Mm -hmm. So. We're going to see potentially an idol put back into play. Also, what was interesting, um, a good move and a bad move in one. So Maria did use her extra vote that she got earlier in the season yes. to get Jim out. What I think is not smart about that is she could have saved that for something better later mm -hmm. in the season, knowing that Jim was probably going to go. Yeah. But on the flip side of that, um, with her two votes, she wrote Jim's name in two different fonts, and she spelled it out Jamila one time and Jim the other. Which so that was clever. so smart, because then yeah. you can't tell. Right. 
And also, I saw in the exit press that Jim is mad at her tribe. I saw that she too, feels yeah. She betrayed and she does not like it. Yeah, they now. edited that part out, but apparently she was very, very mm -hmm. upset when she left. So. Now, I will say, now that we're starting to get into the merge, I'm very interested. You know, Hunter, he did the yeah. journey challenge for this one and he lost his vote again. Oh, that's so true. he doesn't have two votes yeah. now. And then, like Tevin, he has an extra vote. Yeah. So it'd be interesting to see how. It all goes down with Yeah, merge. I'm interested too. We'll see what happens tonight when all three tribes come together. Survivor, brand new episode tonight on CBS.